In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Dear good people, we are on Wednesday, and on this day, Wednesday, we continue with what we started yesterday. And what we started yesterday is what we need to pray for, what we can pray for once we get out of our out of our darkness, or out of the darkness, out of where we were in our lostness, if you like. Pray that you would love your neighbors. This is a special prayer because many a times we are more selfish than outgoing, than benevolent. We love because he loved us first. First John 4.19 Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. Matthew 22, 37 and 38. Powerful. Pray that you would love your neighbors. I am sure there could be somebody that... Uh, your heart doesn't love or like. For your prayer life to be effective, please include them in your prayer journal or in your prayer planning. Number five, talk to God about someone in need. Philippians 2.4 Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Philippians 2.14. I am sure, my dear friend, I'm sure in your life, there is somebody you know who is in need. And maybe whatever it is that they are suffering from or for, maybe it is something that you cannot even help. Maybe the situation you cannot help. You can do nothing, maybe. But I don't believe that you can do nothing. Maybe you can do nothing materially. But there's a lot that you can do. You can pray for that person. Take time. Talk to God about that person. Remember many a times when we are in pain, it can be impossible for us to pray. If you identify someone who is in great need, it could be pain. It could be... It could be loss. It could be somebody going through a heartbreak. Maybe someone's marriage is breaking and the news of breaking marriage is devastating them. And I have met people who will tell me that, Father, I don't know what to pray for any longer. I do not know what to pray for. Yes, that can happen. That I do not know what I can pray for. It happens. When that person is saying, I do not know what to pray for, please stand in the gap. Number six, pray for someone who does not yet know Jesus. I have met, for example, uh, spouses whose partners are not believers. From both divides, Sometimes we think that uh, uh, unbelievers are only men. No. On the contrary, I have found a number of men whose wives are not believers and they have really, really wrecked the life of these men. If you know of a friend whose wife does not believe in Jesus or does not even yet know Jesus, pray for that person. If you know of a, of a lady, of a wife whose husband is not yet, does not yet know Jesus, please do something. You could be the person who will bring peace in that person's heart. Pray that you would love your enemies. Uh, we read this some times back, I think two or three Sundays ago. Is it? More or less. Maybe one. And we reflected on how to love your enemies. And if I remember very well, 
one of the ways to love of loving our enemies, we said it is to pray for them. We need to love our enemies in a, in a greater way. This is not easy. Believe me, it is not easy. The good thing is that it is doable. We can do it. Let's pray for those persons who have hurt us. It is possible we can do it. It matters to God that we are praying for those who have caused us a lot of pain. Thank you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Do have a productive Wednesday.